Hello everyone, I'm Paul from Papa Bear's Nook. Today I'll be doing a wet shaving video. Most of my products are going to be by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So today I'll be using, go straight from the beginning, there we go, the Crimson Razor, Crimson Ghost Razor, which looks like this. It's a twit double twisted. And then using the red razor arrow light 24 millimeter brush and <clears throat> the soap is Sangri di Draco with sandalwood and oud. It's one of my favorites. And then do the Allen block, I'll show you that later. Then the aftershave is going to be Droid Black. And then the Star Jelly, same thing, Droid Black. So I'm going to go get the <clears throat> hot towel ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got the nice hot steamy towel. And let's begin. So I, get, I like to get my face nice and hot hot as you can take so I just sometimes gotta let it sit out and get some, just go for it <sighs> you gotta get your face nice and hot nice and red I'll show you why in a minute okay so I leave this on the side and I like to use the Phoenix um, soap cube. I use their tray. It holds it nice. So I get this hot too. I got my sink going already. <clears throat> nice hot water. As hot as it goes. I just melt this on real quick. too crazy you don't have to do this if you come right out of a hot shower okay next I like to get my lather going so I'll be right back okay usually I do this ahead of time but it's a demonstration video so I'll show you from scratch I got this Nice bowl mug from Artisan uh, Phoenix Artisan Kutchmans, and you fill up with steaming hot water. So what you do to get, <clears throat> if it's um, what's it called, a uh, fake brush, you just wet it, wet it real quick. It'll open up for you. If it's a um, boar brush, horse badger, any natural, to let it sit for a little bit. So. What I like to do is dip it again real quick and just swirl it around for uh, 60 seconds. I'm not going to bore you with that. Okay, so about a minute. Nice foam. Get all that lather up. Put that in your bowl. What I like to do, grab a little spatula. I had to ask my wife first. <laughs> okay, put that in the bowl and get right to <clears throat> the lather making. So, all you do, same thing, scroll around, take a cup of hot water, a little splash. Uh, like about that much in there and just vigor vigorously work it to work a little bit I think it's all done do another tiny splash it's getting a little bit loud up now it's a better angle 
live action over here. Not live, but you know what I mean. So I will try a live uh, video of this after I get the hang of this. Like I said, it's my first time doing butt shaving on video. Get a nice lather here. See all that. Okay, so show you what I'm gonna do. Just give me one second. I like to get the nice and hot uh, rag here. Show that soap nice and hot. Then I'm just gonna grab <clears throat> as much lather as you can on the brush. And just go right for it. I like to go straight up. So you can talk. <laughs> And you don't want to eat that, it's not pleasant. Get really thick, the more lather the better. Okay, next, get right to the razor. So, the razor just unscrews. Today I'm going to be using Voskhod and the uh, thumbnail I'm going to post my wet shave bar, my brushes and my top four razors. So this is what this looks like, it's in Russian and it's upside down and Voskhod. So be, very, be very careful, these are really sharp. So I use this a lot when I have some growth. So put this on here. These are a little bit trickier than most because it's the double twisted razor. Goes on there. And just twist that on. Be very careful because these stick out a little bit too on this one. Nice and tight. So a little trick with these, the ones that have a little indent in there, you go eighth of an inch and open up a little bit if you want a <clears throat> big beard, like a if you have more of a beard. So I'm just gonna go as tight as I can for now. Dip my hand a little bit. I got a Allen block I used after, but in the meantime too, it's good for slip resistance. So get my fingers so I don't slip. Here we go. So I go up, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I go straight down first. You want to hear that feedback over here. We call this feedback when you know it's shaving. Nice smooth motions. Other side. So we're going to be doing three passes. I usually get this done pretty quick, but I'm going to go nice and slow for you guys. Try to do the same thing on each side. So I'd like to do a nice and even shave. Keep a nice hot sink. And I also have um, water with a little bit of um, witch hazel in here without alcohol. It keeps it fresh. Don't worry about um, getting everything on the first shave.
just be very very careful with this one you will cut yourself it's <clears throat> safety razor open comb double twisted so it's no not really too safe but I do want to do a Phoenix um, RS and shaving shout out so I'm going to use all their products maybe in the future I'll do like each step broken down in depth more so real quick does not be perfect I'm going to rinse and I'll be right back okay just rinse with hot water got my face nice and hot just mix this up a little bit more put it right back on like I said I was rushing didn't get too much you don't really want to go too um, crazy on the first pass with this razor unless you're shaving every day then you could do it. <clears throat> you could do a lot um it gets a lot faster so I just put some hot water on nothing don't go crazy with the water it does help um, the soap thicken up more there's different ways to apply whatever you feel comfortable some people go like this and then go across <clears throat> my buddy Geo Fatboy does the infinity figure eight however you want to do it just to relax at the end of the work day in the beginning of a work day just gotta make sure you have time to do this if not there's do a quick uh, shave video too later and go the other way You do not want to go too much on the neck. Take it nice and slow. Nice slow motions would be perfect. I have been doing this a while. So I go a little faster. <laughs> Crazy thing, that little nicks don't bother me. They have a little gusher, but it wasn't too bad. Just a little <clears throat> pro tip too. Take some Allen block, put that on your cut if you do cut yourself, and that will stop it right away. I'll link my three top um, YouTubers that <clears throat> I learned from. Don't forget everyone's hair grows different. Mine's like about around the goatee. It gets really thick. Normally I do a lot more for applying a third pass. Like I said, this razor will cut you. But the good thing is it's an, an incredible shave. So be right back I'll rinse up for the third pass okay I'm all rinsed up <clears throat> this bowl keeps it nice and hot so I don't have to worry about that Get some more lather going real quick it's all the same lather this Phoenix artist artist and accoutrements is pretty good the company I just call them Phoenix shaving all right so last pass 
So this one you want to get your neck really good. I'm going to start from my neck. And like I said, I'm going to have some spots, but mostly for me, those are like my trouble spots. So I'll do them after for a cleanup pass. This stuff smells amazing too. this one make sure you get some allen block on your left hand too I'll show you why so <clears throat> go from top up this is where you go nice and slow I like to identify that like mowing the lawn. You go straight and then you come back halfway. Then for me, I have to go down my neck a little bit where I shaved already. Nice smooth shave. Other side. It's tough to watch the camera and do this on this side. Oh, a little slip there. Going a little fast, but like I said. got the allen block if I do slip. Alright, so this is what I told you about the <clears throat> allen block with your fingers. So sometimes you gotta spread your skin a little. So if you're doing this and you feel too much feedback, don't force it, rinse off or put more lather on. Don't be afraid to re-lather up. I'll show you why I don't. Next, but no, nothing to worry about. All cleaned up nice and clean. So I'll do a little quick feel for when you do the final pass. You don't have to concentrate on. Everything's pretty good. A little here, and I'll be right. Uh, rinse off, and I'll be right back. Okay, before I finish my cleanup shave. What I like to do is put, make sure every time I do a pass, I put hot water in here to rinse to keep it fresh. So same thing, but try to get all the lather you can out. And I like to clean up as I go. So in between, I put my soaps away, my uh, closet's right behind me. 
Um, empty this out. So what you do, get all that soap off. And see what I'm doing? Pick that off. And another little squeeze. Put that in the sink for later. Clean off. And then <clears throat> what I do, same thing with the alum block. I'm just taking a little bit on my hand. Get all this stuff at Phoenix Shaving Company. So get that on here. Just go with your clean hand. Trying to find all the rough edges. You don't want you're doing this hot, so when it cools off, even the little stubbles will go back under. You want to try to get as many as you can, even so you don't get any ingrown, ingrown ha hairs. Put a little on as you go. So that's no feedback. That's good. A little bit light. A lot of times what I like to do, go the other way that it didn't go. So you only have to do like one or two passes, get a nice closed comb. Base, I'll show you that in a minute. So closed combs, you go a lot closer. Well, my bad. You can go uh, faster without cutting yourself. <clears throat> you can go fast with these two. Just gotta be careful. And you wanna keep the same leather going. This is not really much protection. You want to keep all this over here. You don't have to go this meticulous, but I like to. It's pretty much it. It's a nice silky smooth shave they call it the glassy shave and I learned a couple of tricks I'll show you that too yeah so that's like really good I'm going beyond now so I'll rinse up and I'll show you what's next okay real quick before I um, get to the video just take this out and put it on like a rock this is a jasper a jasper or lava rocks or something or you let it hang some people get magnets like this put them in I'll put mine in here put it back in the wrapper and get like some razors you get two uses some three some four some ten so I gotta figure that out it works for different people Okay, so time to cool off and start the aftershave process. So I like to go extra. So what I do is I have um, witch hazel I made. It's scented with um, cedar and um, spices. I make my own cologne. So I'll show you that in another video. And I just use like the over counter witch hazel. Doesn't matter which kind, just no alcohol. And on, I use unscented. I guess I sent it anyway. So, okay, sink going cold. Got to do it low. The long time I'm going to have the sink going. Get these at like the local CVS pharmacies. Put some in there. It doesn't come with it already. You want to just use this, spray that on. So, down nice. And pro tip I use ice cube. A really cool, nice shit, nice cool socks to system here. Get that all in there. Take your almond block, glide that along. 
the reason I do this is I used to do the cold water and it didn't work too much for me anyway so do this and I used to get too much feedback from from the island block it burns a little bit You're not used to it all over and your skin is shocked now so you start seeing the hairs go back in that you did miss nice and cold you can get these trays at the local um, shop rights pharmacies um, Walmarts all that stuff so sink on I like to rinse it off some people will keep it on for the aftershave nice and cold clean towel just blot because you're gonna put the aftershave on that does all the work okay <clears throat> so straight into the aftershave <clears throat> so I put like a little cup full here do a little bit over, I'll show you why. Put a little bit in my hand. Put the cup on my chin. Try not to breathe in right away. It does have all that alcohol. My smooth shave. Let this sit in for like a minute or two. And then I'll put the star jelly on. So I'll be right back. Uh, show a quick cleanup. Okay, so while that's drying down, there's the different razors. Um, got the brand. This is a uh, Timor. This is a. Uh, see the teeth? It's closed up here. It's a closed comb safety eraser. It's the best. Well, this is my beginner blade. And then it's the same thing. It's the generic blade. But the only difference is this screws up top. The other one opens like the red um, twisted. So if you want to get fancier, this is my 1964 one, Gillette. Opens up. And it's also adjustable, so you could change when you shut it. You can change the different um, settings, different numbers on here. So nine is the highest, one is the uh, lowest. So the <coughs> higher it is, the more aggressive of a shave. And then you get to the open comb. This is a standard open comb. You gotta be more careful with these. They do um, drip down more. And these are good, like if you have a lot of growth, like a beard, you wanna trim down. And then, then the twisted. They all twist off except for the two. Usually three, two, three pieces. And that's that. I'll get to the star jelly now. So I'm here. I'm using the Joy Black again. They say one and a half. So I'll go. One half. So same thing. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. That's silky smooth. And then this gets smoother as it goes. So that's it. Wash up, clean everything up. Like I said, I try to do after each process. You gotta wait anyway, so whatever I was using, I put that away. Keeps it a lot easier. And you get to enjoy your shave more. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Paul from Papa Bear's Nook. Shout out to the 
wet shave community. I'm also on um, ITPC, the young, no, the YouTube pipe smokers. And I do videos on that about cologne pairings with your tobacco. And it helps too with these. This droid smells like um, Creed Aventus to me. And it's what they say too. So Phoenix is a really good company too. And there's other companies I use. Katie's Bubbles. And they're a local one here in Jersey. So there's no wrong one to use. So see what you like. And have a blessed day. Peace out, guys.